everyone. This is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and today I'd like to talk about water testing. Um, to be even more specific, your pH, what does it mean and why do we test it? So stay tuned. So exactly what is pH? Testing your pH level, you are testing your water's acidity or alkalinity. A measurement of 7 is considered neutral. If your pH tests below 7, then your water is acidic. Testing greater than 7, your water is alkaline. Generally, fish prefer water somewhere between 6.5 and 8 on the pH scale. African cichlids tend to prefer a higher pH level, while there are some fish who do well on a lower pH level on the scale. The pH levels are very important to maintaining healthy fish, although even more important than the actual level is keeping a stable pH. Fish will adapt to a fairly wide range of pH levels, so it's more important to have a stable pH level that they can adapt to rather than having levels fluctuate. A great way to ensure pH stability is to add a buffering agent to your aquarium. Some examples would be oyster shells or coral shells. There are also substrates that can be used. I wouldn't recommend using oyster shells or crushed coral as a substrate for African cichlids. They like to dig and can easily injure themselves on the sharp edges. In this case, it would be better to hang a mesh bag full of crushed coral or oyster shells in your aquarium or add that to the filtration system. Adding a buffering agent does not have to be unsightly. A bag can easily be hidden behind some rocks or a plant. There are also liquid buffering agents. Many are species specific, making purchasing the proper one very simple. If you have extremely soft water or high alkalinity, you will want to use a buffering agent. I habitually test my water before each water change and then again after each water change. This has just become part of my routine. Many of us learn to recognize signals that indicate a problem without the use of regular testing kits. I'm not suggesting one is better than the other. Like in most situations in the hobby, we all find what works best for us. There are no hard and fast rules encompassing every aquarium or the fish therein. Often the pH levels seem to be less important in the water testing process. We hear about ammonia levels being a concern, nitrites at dangerous levels, and even the little brother nitrate being a worry, but seldom do we hear about pH. However, pH testing may just be the most important of all water tests and must not be overlooked. Keeping your pH between 8.1 and 8.4 is optimal. Within this range, your pH offers a natural antiseptic effect, helping your fish resist illness. Having your levels too high or too low can have harmful effects on the living organisms in your aquariums. Anything that interferes with the health of the good bacteria is a precursor to problems and will show up in the other parameters to be tested if not addressed early enough. Keeping a close eye on your pH levels and correcting any problems that may arise is a very good way of avoiding spikes in your other water parameters. If your pH is falling, this is an indicator that your ammonia is rising, more than likely due to overfeeding, decaying food, and dead organisms. Testing your pH is like a warning system for your aquarium. You can be sure that if your pH is off, there's something going on in your aquarium. Fluctuating pH levels can put your fish into a pH shock. This can happen when your pH level before your water change is drastically higher or lower than the fresh water you are adding. Your fish will immediately begin showing signs of distress, lethargy, clamped fins, gasping, no appetite, and laying on the bottom of the aquarium are all symptoms of pH shock. 
your fish will begin to die within the first 24 hours unless treated. The treatment is simple. Add a tablespoon of baking soda, test your pH. Wait a couple hours, test your pH again, and keep adding baking soda and testing your pH every couple hours until your pH is at the healthy range that your fish are adapted to. Testing your pH at least once if not twice a week will keep you on top of any possible problems developing in your aquarium. pH changes are a very reliable indicator of ammonia and nitrite spikes. It's well worth the investment to purchase a freshwater test kit. Keeping a close eye on your water parameters will ensure a healthy, flourishing community in your aquarium. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.